Hello everyone and welcome back to more of the fruit of Grisaia. In the last episode we taught Makana how to ride a bicycle. It was very adorable. She's actually getting pretty good at it. But apparently not everyone shares our opinion. Let's continue. Eh? <laughs> I should probably go without saying at this point that Objector was Amane. I fail to see the problem here. When the designated time arrives, you head into the field. That's what a job is. Watching as I dig into my breakfast of cold pasta with tomato and basil sauce, Amane contorts her face with an exaggerated display of sadness. <sighs> Well, we stopped by a convenience store on the road this morning, and she gobbled down a bagel and an egg sandwich with a bottle of milk. I doubt she's starving. I mean, the girl said she was hungry. She couldn't move. So you say, Mane, but it's not like you want to see her groaning with hunger yourself. So why you get mad at me? Yeah, yeah, my bad, alright. That's why I'm heroically eating her share of the breakfast you made. Well, now that you mention it. Matter of fact, you do not side off and makes me realize just how good the stuff Imani makes really is. The pasta I'm working on right now is pretty simple stuff, but I have to admit it's delicious. You can really can't make anything taste good, Amane. It might not be worth much coming from a man with notoriously dull taste buds, but I was being completely sincere. Like I said, an egg sandwich and bagel and a bottle of milk. Good guess. That's right. The milk was 200ml bottle. Don't remember the brand, but there was something about packed full of calcium on the label. Seven should be fine. She was on the bicycle for a good hour burning that off. Mm, まあね。それに朝はいくら食べても平気なのよね、割と。でも、その分夜食べる量を少し減らさなきゃ。え、シュースディルジェン。自分の食事のカロリー計算のついでだから別に面倒じゃないし。それに、これ以上太って可愛い
送料を考えるとトントンか500円から800円のお得ってところかしらふーむ微妙だな What are you talking about? ああなんかねマキナの話を聞いてたら私もパンが焼いてみたくなって、oh. パン焼き器を買おうかと思って榊さんにネット通販の値段を調べてもらってたのボーナス前で新型が発表になる時期だから一つ前のモデルがぐっと寝落ちしてるわ買うなら今がチャンスだと思うけど、mm, I agree. 古いのと新しいので値段と性能の差はどれぐらいそうね値段の差は八千円から一万六千円。ガッダム、ね、ほとんど変わらない、ね。確かにガッダス。デザインがちょっと良くなったぐらい。うん、じゃあ、古いモデルでもいいかな。スオさんの欲しがっていたバゲットが焼けるタイプのものは。同時に焼ける数に差がある程度で。性能はあまり変わらないものが。八千円ほど安い値段で売っているわ。ネットのストアオークションで見ると。同じものが1万6千円安い値段でスタートしてるでもそれって結局値段は上がっちゃうんでしょ希望即決価格に設定されている値段を見るとよそより1円安く出品されているからよそで買うより高くなるということはないわただ注意しないと送料が別途かかるケースがあるけど今回見ているストアは送料が無料のようね Well, assuming the price will probably end up somewhere in the middle, that's still $8,000 cheaper than $8,000. $8,000 yen cheaper than buying it in a store. You're surprisingly good at this sort of thing for a rich girl, Sakaki. Or are you not rich at all? Is this really just an act? Now, they say that rich people stay rich by not spending money, so, you know, you don't want to just buy the most expensive thing just because you can. Sometimes it's smarter to get a good deal on something. <laughs> 経済に精通していると受け取ってもらいたいところなのだけれど。Very well. Got a good nose for money. なんだか微妙な言い方ね。別に構わないけれど。I know, you don't care about anything, that's okay. うーん。それにしても8000円の差額か。どうしよう。頑張れば値切れない数字じゃないのよね。素直にネットで買うか。それとも、店頭で形地放り出すか。悩むわ。Wow, Amana has no shame about using her body to get what she wants. Mo, i s o b i o c h i holy da seba, each man look s a y s k u n a r u n j a n a i k o s i Well, you had to w h y not pull down your panties and spread open your happy hole. Bet they give you the damn thing for free. Sasuga no watashimo so kuma de go yoku janaishi. Anna poko a taizina stonishka misa na yo ni te haha kara oso a te imas. Te yuka, o taizini muka te anna poko yuna. Happy hole. <laughs> That's great. Why not? It's cute, isn't it? One time back in the day, this black guy from Arizona shows, Hey, Jap, in my direction. Then asks, How do you say pussy in Japanese? So I honestly inform him it's Monko. But I guess he doesn't quite like the ring of that. Keeps pestering me for something else. First thing that comes to mind is Happy Hole or Anapoko in my elegant native tongue. For some reason, that one goes over a lot better. Guy Bell is so cute and starts laughing uproariously. On a side note, These people had a habit of ruthlessly shortening words. Mogadishu was mog. Anything longer than one syllable got chopped down to size. Before I knew it, Poco had become a common slang for the female genitalia among my peers. Speculation, having the same first letter as pussy probably made it easier to catch on. The Arizona brother in question was no exception. When he came to Japan on business trips, he'd always get shit faced in some bar, grab the mic, and enthusiastically belt out a ballad he called U.S. Marine Corps number one. Then start sweetly crooning, show me your poco, baby, towards any woman in the immediate vicinity. Looking back now, it's quite a heartwarming memory. Hmm, well, that's fine, but I don't think I should buy a credit card in a store. I think it's safe to buy a credit card in a store, but I think it's safe to buy a credit card in a store. I think it's safe to buy a <laughs> so, you could as an acte, or miss the caiba, Kikaiga Chosi Varukatari, Ukari Kosta Tatoki de Mosuguni Tayo Stikuri de Shaw? That is true. Tasho Takaktemo, or miss the cow meritote, so you bubunda to Moshi, so you service or Kaukoto da Tomo no nea? Is this like, does this game have like an agenda against online services? Like, oh, buy brick and mortar, these are all the wonderful advantages. Sore ni. 
前にスチームオーブンを買った時に次何か買う時もここで買うからって言ってねぎっちゃった手前よそで買うのも気が引けるしね<笑>今回はお店で買うよせっかく調べてくれたのにごめんね榊さん私は別にあなたがどこで買おうと構わないし大した手間ではないから気にしないで But anyway, it sounds like online shopping has come a long way. It was getting a lot more convenient these days. Ima wa nan de mo netto no jidai yo. Tashka ni benni ni wa natta kere do. Tsushin ni wa shongai ga tsuki mono da shi. Amari kokiu teki na shudan to mo omoe nai kara. Izon shi sugi ru to shippe gai shi ga ooki no mo netto na no yo. They say that inconvenience is the mother of ingenuity, but I guess that's no reason to avoid the convenient option when it's there already. By the way, can you get anything you want off these online shopping sites? Nan demo to you to go hey go out of Kereto. Go home a monoma tight at any hide she. He go ho, sresere no monomo. Joe can she die of a canary no cacuit de calcotto got a kid of an air. I'm lonely. Can I buy a wife? I see. Nani, oh, you, G. Hunt a nanka hen a mono cow to stand an eye. No, 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 totally not. I was thinking of buying a mocking a little toy, but it's not exactly urgent. I was just a little curious. Oh, much an ara. Anoko mo, it by motte rua yo. Amari kigaruni henamono kayata nai de yone. Hm, do I know it? Hm, so any stemo makina. Chanto arubato yatiru no cano. Paya no gosijinua. Nanika atta a suguni dendakuste kurio ni tsai de arno de show. Dendakuga nai to yukoto. Nanimo mondai wa nai to yukoto yo. Hm. Worrying isn't going to change anything at this point. What will be, will be. The future is ours to see. Not in the least, actually. Why? Yeah, I mentioned that as well, but Makina said she's going to try her best to get over it. What do you want me to do? We can cross that bridge when we come to it, don't worry. I think Makina's gonna handle this just fine. Mm -hmm. Exactly. Exactly. I told the owner to knock her awake if that happened, so it shouldn't be a problem. More importantly, how about you show a little trust up in the girl? The way I see it, slightly overprotective is just about right for a mother. The world's got too many parents who can't or won't look after their kids. Can't hurt to overcompensate a little in the opposite direction, right? But I think Makina's passivity and fearfulness towards others has been largely the product of her own negative self-image as an incompetent idiot. Over the last few days, I've taught the girl quite a few things, and I've tried to point her towards ways she can develop her potential as a human being. I intend to continue doing so from now on. And although I don't think my actions are the sole cause, recently Makina started to show proactive interest in many different things. She seems almost eager to get her hands dirty. Experimentation begins with the willingness to touch, to explore something new with your own hands. Sometimes you might not like the way it feels in your palm, sometimes it'll jerk your hand back in pain. Even so, that pain's a new discovery in its own right, a lesson you can't really understand except through experience. They say infants put everything and anything in their mouths to learn the taste of poison, but Makina has been raised in the equivalent of a sterile clean room. Now she's finally beginning to explore the taste of the world through her own free will. I won't deny that my declaration of complete confidence was largely a bluff. But I don't think I'm raising a kid who can't figure out the difference between a bitter green pepper and a bottle of arsenic. July 24th, 2011. Soon enough, evening came. Although her first shift at her new job ended some time ago, Makina hasn't returned. Amane, who suffered through the day in a state of constant distracted worry, finally broke down and called the bakery, only to hear the girl left right on time some 30 minutes ago. This prompted Amane to shout, Ah! 
and attempted to dramatically leap to her feet with the cell phone still pressed to her ear. But unfortunately, the woman had been sitting on the couch with her long hair tucked between her sizable buttocks. As her head snapped forward with a potential yank, Amani let out a long grunt of uncertain meaning, something along the lines of whoa ah then turned her impotent anger on the target closest to hand, which would be me. Hey, Yuji, why didn't you pick a mock and I get going? What? That's not like I sent the girl off her first day at kindergarten. Mocking's not a child. She'll come back wandering on her own eventually. Mm, such were my honest thoughts on the matter, but faced with the sheer irritable fury in Amani's slightly teary eyes as she rubbed her scalp, I couldn't find the courage to voice them. Sighing inwardly, I pushed myself up off my seat. I think she saw some huge dog, a great Pyrenees, or Samoid, or something like that. Samoid? Then lashed onto the thing and buried it herself in its fur, completely losing track of time. In the scenario, the owner would have to continue walking their dog at some point, meaning Machina should come back on her own eventually. But depending on how things played out, she might tag along on the rest of the walk, following them all the way home. Eventually ended up in a stranger's living room, snacking on sweet cakes and tea. A disturbingly plausible scenario. Of course, families with big, poofy dogs like that tend to be fairly well off, so I doubt she'd be in much danger of a financially motivated crime. But on the other hand, there's no guarantee that she won't have run into the clutches of some cyberitic multi-millionaire with a twisted interest in childish young bodies. My conclusion, it would be best to swiftly track the girl down, have her thank them for the cakes, and promptly withdraw. Hmm. Where is Machina? What's she doing? Where is she? Why is she not home yet? Well, you know what? We're going to go out looking for her in the next episode. So take it easy, everybody.